Hey guys, what's up? It's Budbrad here again. We're going to be doing a speed build of the Jabal Hyman headquarters. Well, the modern extension of it, which is in Hamburg, Germany. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I really like the way the building looks, and also for an architectural uh, homework which I got given to replicate a building using any media and <laughs> I literally chose to do the media with The Sims 4 and I did actually show it to my uh, teacher today with like a photo of it and she did actually really like it so I, I don't know if I can get away with using The Sims 4 as a tool like all the time but I'm, I'm glad that I did I mean, my actual portfolio, which I, I made a short portfolio so I could actually get into the course itself. Because if you didn't know, I'm now an architecture student. So, point being, when I had my interview, I literally made a Sims 4 interior and I like I listed off things in it. I was like, oh, I've used double glass, double glazed windows. I've chose this color palette. Like, I know my stuff really. And like, they were very impressed with it back then, so is it a legit form of like architecture? Maybe not, but I I like it. Yeah. I like it. I don't know, it's just a good way to express my uh, creative stuff without it taking like ten years because my other like favourite game is like Minecraft for example, but I've mentioned before that it takes forever to design anything and build it fully. Point being um, I'm uh, like The Sims 4 is a bit limited in what it has, so it only allows you to have four levels above ground. Therefore, yeah, so I started off doing like measurements because I wanted this to be accurate. So I ended up doing like the second floor bit here, and I think I moved a lot, yeah, I do move lots to 50 by 50. so I could fit it in and be as accurate as I can and of course it's not going to be a hundred percent accurate and I did no interior to this build as well because I don't really know what the interior looks like and I couldn't find any floor plans or stuff online like I looked on Google maps and stuff and yeah this is when I realized that the lot was a bit too small which I predicted it would be because what I was wanting to do was to maybe just have this in my Project 55 thing, but mm, it ended up being its own build. By the way, uh, word on that, I'm going to be do making a new episode of that very shortly if it's not going to be up like tomorrow or sometime. It's just, it's a lot of furnishing and I'm kind of bored of furnishing at the minute, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, it's like, in real life, I want to be an architect rather than an interior designer, so. <laughs> the more you know. But yeah, so I'm using custom content, as you can see, and I've, like, this is the most accurate I could get. Because, like, there's no brick pillars which I could use in between the windows. And, I mean, I probably should edit in some, uh, real life visuals of the, what this looks like yeah so if i do that i will hopefully do this now <laughs> and if i forget i forget <laughs> point being this is just basically copy and pasting what's going on on the other floor but i don't know why i didn't just copy and paste it because it seems to be taking a while but i uh, no i should actually talk about it my new college course because I went from performing arts to architecture and it is, it is a bit different <laughs> yeah it is a bit different and my first like day and stuff like I mean I had to go through all these like transitions and stuff like learn all about safeguarding again and all that bollocks and it's like oh, it's not really particularly fun like learning things that you already know like oh yes if you don't wear your lanyard you're gonna get like asked for it or whatnot 
And it's like, yeah, I already know all this stuff. But for like many people, it's going to be their first year doing this course because it's a level three, which is 90, 90 credits, if you know what that is. Because I, I don't know, if you know what that means. UCAS points, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it until next year. Because it's, like I mentioned, two year course. So. Saying that though, it's still free for me, which is good. Because, yeah, I'm still under 18 as of recording this, so therefore the course is free for both two years. But regardless of that, when I do go to university, which I'm really hoping to do, it won't be free regardless of what I do, so that's fine. Uh, I forget how many years of uni architecture is, but it's a few and then a few work years as a junior architect I believe so I worry about it when I'm there you know like that's sort of how I live life just I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do everything like which I can do and then worry about the future in the future like I'm not gonna prepare for like six years time you know it's like I know what I want to do six years time but it's like I'm not gonna prepare everything because things change and life happens. But what I mean by that is like, I'm really good, right? At, let's say I got given like a homework, like, oh yeah, design your favorite building, like spend an hour designing your favorite building or whatnot. And like, I literally went home that day. Like I went home on Friday and I started on this build. Because that was our homework for the time. So yeah, like if I do get anything, I do it the same day. Like, I mean, it's kind of smart if you think about it. Because it's like, then, it, like, the teacher doesn't have to like run up to you to ask if you've like done the work and whatnot. Like a week later, it's like, oh yeah, no, I handed everything in like last week, and it's like. It just makes life easier for like future you, you know. Like it may be sucky to like have to draw or sketch or like if you're not doing anything art related. It's still not going to be particularly fun to like, you know, do the homework. Let's say it's like you're doing a history degree. Like, God bless you if you are. Like, I know I couldn't do one. Uh, but yeah, if you're doing like a history degree. I'm sure like some elements of it do get boring and that you'd rather like not do like the work like if you've just been given it because like let's say you go from like a not an interesting lesson to going home to doing something also not interesting like you're not going to have the motivation to keep up with it and I mean that's not that obviously that won't be the case for everyone because it's going to be some huge like history people who love it so much that they don't care about the boring side of things and even in architecture itself there are going to be like boring times and stuff but like you need to find a ratio of what am I willing to put up with and how much fun do I have is really what it comes down to so if you're having like 90% fun and then 10% is like tedious then you're doing really well for yourself and if it's like 90% tedious and 10% fun then mm, maybe you shouldn't continue it unless you really want to like because like if you because like people have said this like they're like oh brad you're really passionate about this i'm like well yeah it's just something i do like it's just it's like I can't draw well but like I do sketches and all that stuff and like I'm always creating something even if it's like a graphic design or what not and screen went black there for a second <laughs> oh, I was a bit worried in case the clips messed up but it's fine ah oh, Sony Vegas is a bit mean at times but yeah <laughs> where was I I was like uh, talking about it was like education or something, yeah. 
oh, passion, yeah. Like, people are like, oh, you're very passionate about this, whatever. I'm like, yeah, I know, because it's like what I want to do. And of course, I won't be using The Sims 4 as like a always like definitive way to de design stuff. Like, I would imagine in the future, you'd probably get like a video or so of like a speed build of an entire building in like SketchUp or something, like more professional. But as of now, yeah, as of now, <laughs> screaming black there again, as of now, I'm still just enjoying doing sim builds using expect uploads not to be like I won't say they're not going to be infrequent because I did take like three weeks off but that was mostly due to like how much I had to furnish and then I realized I don't really have to furnish things like for this build but like for the rest of the builds which are coming out soon they will be furnished hopefully <laughs> Yeah, but it's like, it's funny, I'm like, I'm always complaining, I like, there's not enough, like, there should be bigger lots in this game, like, bigger environments to build in. But then I realise that when I'm doing like a 30 by 30 build, and it takes me like, 15 hours or so, it's like, hmm, how long would it take me to do like a, like, if they introduced it like, a 70 by 70 build. And, uh, oh, actually, I have some theories, right, because the rumour is, at the minute, that The Sims 4 University is coming out in November time, so, and it's going to be an expansion pack and not a game pass, so that's good, but I have my predictions of what it would be like, so my predictions is, like, if, you, if you're watching me and you're not a Sims fan, that's fine, but, like, you can zone out here. Like, watch the screenshots at the end, you know. But my prediction is, is it's going to be a bit like Del Sol Valley in the fact that there's going to be like this m big lot or whatnot, which will be like the university lot, which you can only access during like class hours. So it's like the get, so it's like, so I imagine it'd be like the get to work careers or something. And the acting gig career from Get Famous, like I mentioned, but you can only access the lot from when you have class hours, rather than like s you go to school ID at like four in the morning to revise, like you would in real life if it was university before like a deadline. But yeah, I imagine that there's going to be many flaws with it. And wow, this screen's going black for awfully too long. I'm a bit scared now. Hello. Okay. Honestly, I, I came back like halfway through that. But I'm doing the roof, yeah. And I saw this from Google Images, but they had like a big amount of like, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I think this just be like ventilation and stuff. But it did have that, so I used these counters and moved them in together. And I mean, how lazy is it really that? I mean, it's convenient, but it's lazy that the counters I use from the game itself is a flat color. Like, there's no color to it on the top. I, I just find that really bizarre. Also, using the new stairs. I mean, they're probably not going to be now, but. It's funny, yeah, I don't, in the final outcome, I put in stairs but nothing else because it's like, <laughs> I don't know how I would lay this out. I, and like I said, I couldn't find any real life references of the interior, so, as you do. But yeah, yeah, I really do like this build, like, with all the bricks and the black. Like, I would probably call it, like, my favourite building. And it's located in Germany, and I do like Germany, so. There's always that as well. But the whole building as a whole is, like, really nice. C 
because this is just the modern extension part of the real life building because the lots in this game are not big enough to hold like the entire building but I like what that is and also there's like all these balconies like I don't know for me it's like enough detail that it's like nice and not too repetitive but it's like simple enough that I can easily like make something which looks very similar in The Sims 4 because like some small modern homes are like really complex and stuff and it's like gives you a headache looking at it and like I don't want to sound a bit ranty about architecture but like I'm not a big fan of like curve like where everything is like curved and stuff like I just like my straight edges like my crop uh, I don't know I don't know what I'm rambling about but I'm not a big fan of buildings which like get 10 times bigger on like the second floor because like there's a cantilever and then there's just like ridiculous cantilevers which I don't like the look of because I like to believe that there's like an actual balance of things like when I'm building like I want things to look like it won't collapse but like some buildings in like Dubai and stuff do look like they're about to die like <laughs> they're about to die <laughs> but it's kind of true like some Dubai skyscrapers are a bit and I think Abu Dhabi as well like skyscrapers are a bit not nice because of how funky they are point being yes yeah, the screenshots I've got only a few because it's only like a few I saw but yeah this has been my commentary thanks for watching and I will see you next time bye